Welcome to a Fashion Doll Shoes tutorial. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to glue the uppers and soles together. But first, I'm going to fix this these corners here. I I don't like the way they look. They're sort of sticking out, so I'm going to just round them, just cutting a bit here. It's going to look better that way. And this is one of the things you should never be afraid of. If you see that something doesn't work in your original design, just change it, fix it. It's the first plan is never going to work perfectly. You'll just need to experiment and fix things as you go along. So yeah, they look a lot better this way. The basic problem is that this should be steeper, this curve, but the material is so stiff that it's hard to make it, make this curve perfect. So it's, it's a bit, you can see that if I press it here it goes this way. So there's there's a bit of extra here in the front, but it it can't be avoided. If if the material was something that stretches a bit, it it would be easier to make these fit perfectly. Now it's just close fit. Yeah, but the the soles. Well, first of all, this material, as it's glossy plastic on the outside, there is the problem that PVA glue is not going to stick to this. So if if I just glue the outer soles to this glossy surface, they won't stay there. They'll come loose. So I'll need a solution for that. But if if I was using leather, which for which uh, PVA glue works perfectly, I would just cut these so that they would cover the entire width of this sole because this is thick material. You. Uh, need to uh, make sure that it covers as much of the sole as possible to make the outer sole neat. But in this case, we'll need to just put, use some other material as filler and cut these Friendly. So I'll put the sole here and then I'm going to draw here a line that will show me where the where these will be folded under the sole so I'll know where to cut. And then I'm going to cut here just a narrow strip which will go under the sole. Like 
this and the other one. And then put this here again in place because then we'll have to see where to cut the flaps. They are best, best to put them in the curves here. So It'll be easy to turn these under here and in this case you don't need to make it triangular, it can be straight. And in this other other curve you need to make a small V shape to prevent overlapping. So it goes like this. And then you cut the other side same way. One cut there and a small V shape cut. And now the trick how to make PVA glue work with this material. You take the hole puncher and you make holes in these flaps. So when you take the sole and you glue the flap into it, there will be a hole in it and when you glue the outer sole in place the hole makes a sort of plug so that the the glue in those places it will bind the outer sole to this cardboard structure this insole so the the plug in there will keep this plastic in place it can't slip out and that's that's the theory and I've made this structure a couple of times and it has worked so far and then just select suitable size for the holes depending on depending on the width of these flaps and I think I could use one size bigger This is, uh, let's see, which size is it? It's three millimeters. Just one hole in this flap. make three holes in the next one. And for some reason seem to get those done all at once and I think the last one is two two holes for that this is a bit difficult with the uppers 
in place in these castings, but it's too much work removing them just for this, so I will just have to do. a bit too close to the edge. But it should should still work because the stress is the material on that great really in something that's basically just for display because these these doll shoes that I make they are not intended to be handled by children they couldn't really take it. sides and the next step is to glue these flaps under the insoles but first I'm going to do the same with the other one except I'm not going to film that now I have both both shoes ready for gluing the soles in place. So I'll use the glue. And in this case, it should work because the reverse side of the material is fabric. So the PVA glue should work for for gluing those flaps under under the soles but in case you're using plastic that's glossy on both sides you can you can use this same method except before making these holes use double-sided tape to uh, put it there in, in these flaps and then make the holes and then turn them turn the flaps here the double-sided tape should should keep them in place long enough so that when when you glue the outer soles in place they will secure these flaps in place as well and that, that's why you need to put the tape in the flaps first and then make the holes because you you need to make sure that the holes go through both the flaps and the tape but in this case the PVA glue should work just fine I guess we'll see that soon enough if it will work or not. Trying to keep this in in the frame. Okay. And press this here and now the problem is that 
I should just keep pressing until the glue sticks, but I'm going to try try using masking tape. Just to use it to keep those flaps in place long enough for the glue to dry so I can continue with the rest of the flaps. I don't really like masking tape because they they have a tendency to leave glue stains if you leave the tape on too long. But there should be no need to leave that on for very long. Because at this stage the main goal is to get the flaps glued in place and stay long enough until you glue the outer soles in place because the outer soles are what's going to keep those flaps secured. this is glossy material on the outside so the masking tape shouldn't stick too hard to it just hard enough to keep keep these flaps in place while I wait for the glue to dry No, it's not. not right. Okay, that's better. And then I'll just need to wait. Wait for that to dry. And then it needs to needs a middle layer before gluing the outer sole in place because you can probably see here that there's a clear lines showing here and this same will show in the outer sole if you just glue the outer sole in place after removing these masking tapes. So we'll need to fill in that, but I'll show that later. Now I'm just first gluing these flaps in place and letting them dry. And this is actually method you can use if you want to make shoes using clear plastic. Those can look really nice but it took me a long time to figure out how to do how to do it because of this problem with PVA glue and I suppose you could use super glue but I 
I don't really like it. It's too fast. And I always manage to get this on my fingers and it's nasty stuff. So I prefer finding other ways of doing this. And of course if if you prefer super glue there's no reason why you shouldn't use it because ma many of the material choices they are really matter of preference. It's always best to use materials you you feel comfortable with. Because you're going to get best results with those. And one of the reasons why I don't use much modeling clay is that it's I think it's really hard to use because I well my problem basically is that it's really hard to make two identical pieces and I need some sort of pattern or mold or something like that to get even close but I have seen seen those shoes made of modeling clay by people who know what they're doing and the results can be fabulous so it's it's just a question of using what you know how to use. Well, of course you should always try and practice with new materials, but still the best results come from using materials you like and know how to use. Right, now they are both glued and now I'll just have to wait for the glue to dry and then I'll get back to the next stage of the process.